Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video here today. We are here on our Minecraft uh, single player world just chilling out up in our little uh, upstairs seating area I suppose we want to call it. Um, you know, we haven't really been up here in a little while so I thought we could start out an episode here and have a look at kind of the stuff that we've done lately. So um, yeah, as you can see down there I did go ahead and uh, play for a little bit longer and kind of fix up that area. Um, I've gone ahead and added a couple more windows like to those top ceiling I think it just really helped out a lot and adding those pl um, flowers and things around the place really did um, kind of just pick up the texturing and everything it just I don't know it just makes it look a lot better we can go have a look inside as well soon um, I did go ahead and change this kind of roof here on the cow farm just to match it a little bit it wasn't really needed at all but I went ahead and did it anyways, just so we can keep it around just a little bit longer. Um, so we may as well just go ahead and quickly run downstairs, and here we go, and come outside, and we can quickly go around and have a look at what we've got going on over here. So it really didn't change the design that much, just kind of added some spruce logs to the top, and then just added some just oak as well throughout, just to kind of pick up the design a little bit and make it more natural, um, and less, you know, of that orangey wood whatever the heck that's called um, and then another thing I did is just change these from cobblestone into spruce just it I think it just blends a little bit better with the like dirt and stuff so kind of looks a bit cooler I did take away one layer extra from here just so it wasn't so cramped up against this doorway and then as we come in here I went ahead and um, obviously I've been playing for a little bit and got a lot more honey and crafted up these like nests and stuff and got some bees bread oh Poof, there he goes, inside he goes, um, but yeah, I just gone ahead and done that, I got some carrots, I got all that stuff down, so that was pretty cool, um, we could might as well bring our horse over here for a little bit, that'd be pretty cool, and, uh, got these blocks that you've seen last time, so went ahead and bone mulled a lot of this to get some grass growing, I think it really did help out the place a lot, um, and then coming around this backside, just added those flowers, as I said, added a nice little lantern up there as well for some visibility, coming inside, you know, added a few more of these bushes just kind of hanging around, and some yellow and black carpet as well well so that turned out really cool had to go kill some squids over back yonder as well but you know it was worth it um so yeah that there's um that pretty done and i think that's the roof as well you know those little i really like those little simple um archway window style things i think it really helped that roof out a lot um as far as these things go i didn't really do too much i did go ahead and shear the pumpkins um to make them jack what are they called not jack-o-lanterns um I don't know. Give them, give them the face. You just go ahead and shear just a pumpkin and stuff on that, and um, that was that done. And then I did go ahead and remove our old mine. Um, I think I have a really cool idea for that. I'm thinking like a, a nether portal entrance just there. I think that could be pretty cool. Um, and then one thing in here I did notice is that our llamas disappeared again. I had two other llamas that are just gone now. Um, I don't know if it's just because they're not name tagged and stuff like that, so they just despawned. So I just went ahead and leaded up that other one because they didn't despawn the entire time I've been playing with them on leads, so I just went ahead and did that. Um, and then I kind of just fixed up this pathway that's coming all the way down around here. I added a little bit of coarse dirt and some like rock kind of formations around. Um, just have the pathway a little bit, but we definitely will be decorating it a bit more. And if you come up here, I added another little pathway that's going to come over here that we can connect um, these two palaces with like a little bridge and stuff. I think that could look pretty cool overlooking the ravine. Yeah, ravine, that's the one. And then I did also go ahead and finish the inside of this mine as well. So if you come in here, you can see it's nice and broken up. Um, I used a glowstone again. I had to go back and get some more, but yeah, it's really cool. I enjoyed using glowstone so rather than lanterns and you know torches and stuff it shakes it up a little bit more and that's when I had and just added kind of just some of these divots around and put some lanterns in I like to keep this iron and coal around um, I think it adds a bit more texturing and then this way you can kind of just see the uh, oak pillars and stuff coming through as well so you know it wasn't didn't take too long to do that at all and then I went ahead and lit up this cave down here so you can kind of see down and around it makes it look a bit cooler as well so it's not like so dark and misty around that took quite a while to jump and hop around between this but it was worth it I think and then, uh, yeah, it's coming down more or less the same stuff just coming through here um, pretty much the same kind of thing just went ahead and just 
cut open a bit of this stuff to make it a bit more open and uh, yeah that, that was pretty much that done um, haven't really done too much down here apart from what we did the other time but yeah it's looking pretty cool I think um, so if we could go up head uh, go up and head upstairs um, I have a few things that I want to get done today. First thing of all, I want to go to sleep and make it daytime because I did finally see some, uh, what are they called? Uh, seekers? No, what are they, uh, those flying bloody bat looking things that fly around the air? Yeah, those things. I finally seen a couple of those, so I really don't want to start having to deal with those. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and go to sleep. Uh, real quick, let's come through here and kapow yeah cool so we're ready to go pretty much um i have a lot of projects that i've kind of half finished and things like that that i need to actually you know completely get done so that's why i was kind of just chipping away at it in between episodes and stuff because it's not really not that exciting um it's just kind of tidying up a few places here and there but i'm just super happy with this bee place like i gotta go I'll come I'll get some more bottles of honey i think i don't have too much um, it's been shearing them lately and um, yeah I think it's just turned out really well they have grown my crops really fast surprisingly I mean I do have a lot of bees right now um, but yeah they're, they're doing really good and I'm not really sure what happened to that bee last episode maybe one of you guys could let me know down in the comments below um, I don't know if it's just the bees like I haven't really seen one do it again before and I'm thinking that last episode as well when I tried to break one of the beehives and then the bees got angry at me is because they were outside and they could see me doing it and I think when I did it in the village it was just coming on to night time so they went inside their nest so I'm not a hundred percent on that but um yeah that's pretty much that done I do want to go ahead and tank down all the sugar cane set up something a bit more automatic uh over that way kind of area I'm thinking and I'm going to go ahead and finish this kind of lake thing probably next episode I think yeah I, I think we'll set that for next episode get that done and um, looking really cool um, but for today I wanted to go up here if we come up this way and come up into our crop field and head up here there we go and look at this area just up here so I was thinking of originally doing like kind of like a a giant tree kind of thing with like a nice area that um you know you could sit down and you know kind of hang out and stuff but i don't see myself ever really going to come up here much like really often at all so i was thinking of doing like a giant windmill because it's like a farm area you know all farm areas got to have at least one windmill you know in them so i was thinking of doing like kind of something up here I might need to like level this out a little bit more, but I kind of like how it's like not 100% like um, set how it is. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just clear that just there. There we go. Cool. So I was get like a big windmill this year. I might need to get some more dirt and just kind of, you know, give myself a little bit more room to work with. Because I want this thing to be quite big. I want to be able to see it from my house. I want to be able to see it from the mine. I want to be able to see it from the village all the way over there, um, potentially. So we'll have to see how that goes. But I think it'll look, it'll look pretty cool and kind of free up this kind of area and stuff. And um, yeah, really, really nice feature to the whole crop field. And that guy would pretty much wrap up this kind of fielding area at the moment. Like I went ahead and did... Uh, Beetroots that side, I forgot to tell you guys. Beetroots that side, and then half potato, half carrots over there as well. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get my resources I'm going to need for this, and I'll meet you guys back in just a moment. Alrighty, guys. Uh, um, this is pretty much like kind of like this the border that we have to work with. Um, so I am kind of like using some reference designs and stuff uh, of some other people because like windmills are kind of confusing. So I'm going to be using that for kind of like the. Uh, I guess the blades and stuff for that stuff so I'm kind of thinking something like this but that's gonna be like our max perimeter I guess you could say um, so I'm gonna head and just kind of do something like three here let's do a um, I guess we can do a one and a two and then we'll do another three and then what is it there like one and two there we go. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. One, two. There we go. So we can get rid of these guys just now. And let's open this up. There we go. So I kind of wanted to like be able to come inside as well. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that like as kind of like an opening kind of thing. 
So you just so you can come and look inside here. Um, and then I guess we can continue these three up like to the two. And then I'm probably gonna do something like uh, this on these ones. So do like boop boop and up. There we go. And then we do this. Cool. So how about like that? Uh, maybe we're like, I kind of want to leave this a bit more open actually so you can kind of see inside the structure a little bit more. So we might actually break these and we'll leave it open. There we go. We can bring these up there, other spots as well. Cool, we're getting there. Um, I'm going to need a crafting table. There we go. I guess we can just chuck that one inside. Um, I'm going to need a few stairs, I'm thinking. Maybe we'll do this with actually spruce wood. Just grab a few of you, and then we can do something like that. There we go. Then if we stare these off... Um, so I guess we'll do the same on this side, uh, but minus the middle. So I'll leave what I was going to do before. Just so we can have two of the same kind of looking sides. And then I guess we can leave this open a bit. Like that. Um, and then kind of bring this here. And do something like that, but... Can you go like this way? Do that there. And we can kind of bring this in that way as well. So we go like, what is it? The one and then two. And then I guess I'll bring it up like another one. So like five maybe. Three. One, two. Oh, it fell off already. Three, four. Let's try four. Let's see how four looks. Um, oh, God. This is not going to go well. I'm very sorry if you have to watch all this painfulness of me trying to build. There we go. Let's go break you and then go under and then break you and go under. There we go. And I guess from the inside, we can just do... Uh, we don't need those, but yeah, you know, something like that. Um, and then this side as well. Bang, and then one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Cool. There we go. We just need to fix these little uh, couple of things just here. Let's do that one there. And that there's looking pretty good. I guess we can go ahead now and fill in this inside area. So I kind of wanted to, to do maybe something like this. We can just kind of spread this all the way up to about there. And I guess we can put another log. Go ahead and strip these. Am I going to... There we go. I guess we will just go ahead and kind of just fill these in. I mean, like, why not? And I guess we'll need... Stairs here, probably. There we go. Stairs there. And we can strip use as well. And then we'll do the same on this side. Let's get that, 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 that there. And then we'll do a couple more stairs. And I need more logs. Of course I do. Okay, let's go back down in here. Let's do this. Let's get a few more of you. Thank you. And we'll get a couple more stairs. 16, not bad. Let's get back on top. And then we can go this, this, this. And come around this way and finish off you. You're not meant to go that way though. You're meant to go this way. Okay, cool. Um, and this is looking, I don't know, all right, I suppose at the moment. It's uh, it's interesting to say the least. Okay, let's head up here. And then we can go ahead and uh, maybe do something like we'll stare. Do we want to take off like one layer of this and then stare that and then maybe we'll do this. There we go. And then we can... I guess we can use spruce. Maybe if we do something like... We should do upside down stairs here. How's that look? Yeah, that's looking pretty alright. I'm um, going to need some more bloody stairs. I think I'm going to run out of spruce to be honest with you. Let's go back and get some more. Let's do that, and there we go. 
And let's head back up on top. There we go. And jump and hop and jump. And let's go that, 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 and that. Okay. There we go. Pretty groovy. Pretty simple uh, roof there. Nothing too crazy. Let's do another layer of you. Maybe do one more as well just to get like that extra height kind of thing going on. And then we can go ahead and do some like a cross beam. There we go. Do you want to bring it out one more? Probably. Let's do one more to there. Um, honestly, might even do another one just to bring that out like even further. And then with the, now comes the really difficult part of placing these stupid fences. Uh, I can I do this? If I go to jump, there we go. Okay, um, I don't really know the best way to do this. Watch me fall to my death. So if we count like how many we're doing, like we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can do one. You have to pop that down there just so I can fall and not like die. Hopefully, there we go. And then we can do like a Two. Um, probably to like there. If you build out these logs, come this way. There we go. And then we can do like another two just there. So that's like kind of like one blade kind of thing. And then we can do the other one like upside down. And then we can do these ones going the other way. So let's uh, bring these ones across. So that's one. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. There we go. So this one will be a one, one, and two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Whoa. Oh, God. Is that right? Yeah, I think so. One, two, three, one, two, three. That one looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that right? It looks funky. I know. I think that's right. Okay. So let's come back out this way again. Um, I need to get rid of these ones just here for the moment. Just so I can come out and reach. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're going to do these ones underneath. So that could be a little bit hard. So, if we come back out this way, scoot along there, let's do our two back this way. And then we want to leave one gap. Then we can do a one, two, three, four, five, and not that one. And then we do one more over this way. Is that right? Um, can I go like further this way? There we go. Let's do one just there. And then we can do these ones just here. Yeah. There we go. Then we can go ahead and finish off these uh, bottom ones. I think if we can just take this path just down here. Let me block this creeper. Excuse me, sir. Could you leave? Thank you. Is there anything else down here? No. Nope. Okay, we're looking pretty good. Okay. There we go. And then we can do the center one, which is this one. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, and seven. We go ahead this way. We can do our one and two and this way, and then we gotta go up again. Let's do this, this, and grab another stack of fences. And I think I was meant to do that the other way. I was. That's annoying. It's fine. Okay, let's go straight back down. Just to here. Let's grab our stuff before it despawns as well. Okay, now let's go from this side. Probably need to go out a few actually. Okay, and we can leave that there. And then we can do these ones. And go up a little bit higher. Go one two one two and leave that one just there. Okay, let's uh, do this. Thank you. 
Right gear. We can put you back, I think. Mr. S can you? Hello? There we go. Hmm. No, they can too shabby. I don't think. Let's have a little bit of a look as he. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Sorry. Um. Yeah. You know, you get the idea that it's a windmill anyway. Um, so that's always good. And they can go up and fix the roof a little bit. And I think we'll go on the backside. Okay, so I think for this one here, we'll jump across and let's do a three on either side. And then we can uh, stare this. Let's um, break you. Let's do our actually, we don't even have that. So let's get another crafting table again. Uh, let's just plunk you there, and then we can do some stairs. We might need some more, to be honest. Let's get that many, I guess. And then we can go ahead and do something like this. There, I'm bringing that across. Keep coming around, and there, and this one just there like that. Okay, cool. Um, so we need to break this backside one. And then we can just do like a simple little uh, roof on top just here. And there we go. Can we give this? And we'll just do like uh, two blocks. There we go. Nice, nice groovy little uh, top just there. We might even do like a spruce like log on top. Just to shake things up a little bit, you know? Um, so then we can continue this out the back side, I'm thinking. Because, like, I've seen, like, they have, like, these, like, uh, I, would, I wouldn't really know what they're called. So, you like this. There we go. Um, on the back side, it's kind of like a, like a little fan thing that can guide them to, uh, where it needs to go, I guess you could say. So, something like that. So, that there, like, catches the wind and stuff and it kind of rotates the, um... The windmill and stuff like to change directions uh, so it catches the wind better I'm pretty sure I'm not 100% on that so don't quote me on that at all um, but yeah that's pretty much the design there I think we might break these off actually and do that can I park over it yes I can so let's break you and do that and do this just around the last few little sides here just to help match that up a little bit better and then I guess we can just go ahead and add a few uh, like uh, fence posters around the place just to help uh, you know add a little bit of something to the build let's go this way as well with it and just there and jump oh god that did not work at all there we go yeah, looking pretty groovy, I guess, at the moment. Um, can I jump there? No, I can't because there's the thing there. And I guess we can go ahead and just kind of tidy up this area a little bit better. And I guess we can do that. And then we could probably raise these then to about here. And then chuck in some oak and strip that. There we go. It's probably looking a bit nicer anyway. Um, and we can come around this side. We can pretty much leave that side, I think, as is, maybe. I think that look should look fine. Maybe we could, like, add some... Uh, instead of these... We might do... Uh, upside down... Maybe here. That's wrong. We have to do upside down this way. There we go. And then we could put a couple of these fence posts around. There we go. And then this side, how we do this again, we get that one. And that one, and then one in the middle. And then break use off. And extend this to there. And we do oak and oak. And we strip both of these. And swing it around this way, get rid of these guys. Do a 180 flip and go upside down. And we can fill these up with the fence posts. Boom. There we go. Let's see how this looks right now. This here is looking a bit funky. I guess we can go ahead and... Uh, um, do we really need that there? Yes, we do. So we can do that. I guess we can do this to kind of support it a little bit. Let's break this 
uh, crafting table. Bang, bang, and I seriously ran out of fences. Oh, no, I got two left. Nice. Um, and then I was gonna like, you know, do like a big, a well kind of thing in the middle. So if we get like that, um, can we tidy this up a little bit better? Wondering if we do something like this. Around the outside, that could work a little bit better. Um, do we put one there? Don't see why not. There we go. Adds a little bit something extra to it. Guess we can even add some on this one as well. There we go. And then yeah, I was gonna do like a nice like well thing in the middle. Um, so we like just this one, correct? There we are probably dig out a few of them and then put something like that in there and then like waterlog them so it looks like it's going all the way down and up but I'm gonna have to go grab some more fences by the looks of it unless this looks all right that doesn't look too bad and then if we like got broke that one and then put these down in here and we could waterlog this one yeah, I kind of like it um, I might just like break this floor though and do something like this around the place though gotta be careful with this bloody uh, thing and we'll do some of these textured blocks around the place too could look pretty cool um, let's do something like this on there break these as well and we can do one there one there one there do another log and some of these and then do another log and that. Strip these as well. Hey, there we go. That only took like five minutes too long. Um, there we go. And then we guess we probably put a couple of barrels around the place, you know, make it look a bit nicer. Um, this barrel here. Just put a couple of barrels on the side, around the edges, you know, why not? Maybe not just there. Put another one on this back side, maybe. So this way. Um, and then I was thinking maybe we could like fence post like this kind of thing. And here and then do like some bushes off that. So I'll have to run back and get some bushes. But like I think it'll help the place look a bit, bit tidier. Um, and then we could do a couple of like little footpath things going off down that way. And then we can also like put some lanterns on these fence posts if we do something like that as well. Could look pretty cool. Um, and then you could do a couple more on this side. There we go. I think I might get rid of these barrels to be honest. Let's break use and let's do that, that, that. There and there. Can you like not go there please? That's not where you're meant to go. Let's break you. Do that, that, that and that. And there we go, let's go have a look at this thing from a distance. Hopefully it looks pretty cool. I like that, I like that very much. Um, yeah, so I'm not very good at building windmills. I can't say I've ever built a giant one like that kind of before, really ever. Um, I guess we can just go ahead and go with the dirt because we have an instant mining thing. Is there any trees above us? No. Let's go all the way up here and have a quick look at this thing that is looking pretty groovy I do like that maybe like the only thing I kind of don't like about it is it's not quite as tall as I thought it would maybe like I don't know I wish you could kind of extend this bottom bit a little bit higher and then brought it up but I think it still looks pretty cool as it is um, it gets you know obviously it gets the point across that it's a windmill go ahead and sleep and I'll go grab those bushes and probably finish that off and I'll meet you guys back in just a moment Alrighty guys, we are completely finished with this uh, windmill, I think. Um, I was kind of got to broke it up a little bit, made uh, some few extra changes, add a bit of detail to it, kind of added this nice little pathway up to our crop field to come visit it if we ever wanted to. And yeah, as you can see, I just gone ahead and added some like bushes around the side, put in some cobblestone and some rebels, uh, like, um, mossy stone and stuff added some more bushes around that way put in these ones here i was talking about added some like stone like rubble kind of stuff on the ground here um just kind of added this all the way up and around and i think it kind of worked out 
pretty well um, for like what I was going for. I still think it does look a little bit flat and stuff, like especially this kind of area. So I might see if I can do something with that, but I don't know. We'll we'll have to see what um, come up with at a later date because I'm pretty happy with it at the moment and it turned out pretty well. I think it just uh, topped off our crop field. These guys fly really far. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, they top off our crop field like just like a nice little feature, you know, as you come and pass. But um, yeah, if you guys have enjoyed today's video at any point in time, please just leave a like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.